Hello, my friend, and welcome back Whoa! to my channel. My name is Melissa, and I am an artist. I create dark, visceral art to provide you a space of authentic, raw expression. And today we are looking deeper into the story of the woman in white. Do not mind my dog. <laughs> I There's a squirrel climbing up the tree that I can see through the window. So that's what he's barking at. But today we are looking into the full creation process of the woman in white. And we are going to dive a little bit more into her story. So let's get started. Let's dive in even deeper into the story of the woman in white, also known as La Llorona. And if you are interested, I do have a short video up on my channel. It's just me getting ready, talking a little bit more about the woman in white and my inspiration for painting her. But anyway, let's dive in. So dating back into the 1500s in Mexico, La Llorona, or the Weeping Woman, or the whaler, the history behind her is that she is a, a vengeful ghost, a vengeful spirit. And she is a woman in a white dress with long, dark hair. And the story is that she walks around town wailing and, and crying, mourning the death of her children, whom she had drowned. And looking back into the history of the woman believed to be La Llorona, her partner was a wealthy Spaniard that essentially abandoned her. I don't know if it was after having her children that he abandoned her or while, you know, she was pregnant with the last child. I, I'm not sure of the details of that. But anyway, it was a woman who was abandoned and she ended up oofing her children. So it's definitely a a story of tragedy and it seems like different areas of the world cities have their own take on the woman in white, but they all seem to center around this story of tragedy, her being a spirit, a woman in a white dress and long dark hair and I was inspired to paint her because she was on the Supernatural series on the pilot episode and it was I started re-watching this series back in the spring of 2022 was it this year yeah it was this year I started re-watching the series and I was inspired to paint her the woman in white I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you love watching dark art videos, dark art content, I encourage you to like this video and to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. If you are interested in collecting any of the artwork, you can find originals, uh, limited edition prints, as well as bookmarks and stickers on my site. I will put the link in the description. And I do have some prints and canvas prints available for pre-order right now. So go ahead and pre-order those. You get a special gift with those. And the pre-order slot is, it's a limited time. Um, so go ahead and pre-order now. Do not wait, run, do not walk. And I am grateful that you are here and I hope that you have a wonderful day and I hope that you enjoyed learning more about the woman in white. I really enjoy listening to different lore and legends behind these kind of paranormal oddity type things. And the cool thing with the woman in white is it seems like different towns, different areas of the world have their own story behind her but there is also some commonal commonalities to them as well and thank you for watching and have a good day much love